What's up everybody, Camero here, and welcome to part 25 of my How to Make a Pokemon Game tutorial series. In this episode, we are going to be looking at how to add new types. I'm going to show you which text files you need to edit to get your new types working in the game. I'm also going to show you which pictures you need to edit to have your new types show up in the game. And then we're also going to adjust an existing Pokemon to have our new type, and then we're going to test it out with a battle. With that said, let's get into it. So. One new type that I was thinking of adding was sound type, and I think a good uh, candidate would be Exploud, you know, like what, Loudrid, Wismer, you know, that line. So what I've, got, what I've gone and done is I've already added sound type, and I'm going to kind of work you back and show you exactly what you need to do to add your own new types. So the first thing you need to do is go into your Pokemon game and go into your PBS folder and open types.txt, the one at the very bottom right here. So if you scroll to the very top, you'll see that there's all the other types have already been defined. Like normal is the very first type, which is number zero. Um, you know, its name is normal, and then its internal name is all caps normal. And it shows you what it's weak to and strong to. Um, you know, fighting, what it's weak to and what it's strong against. You know, there's resistances, there's weaknesses, there's immunities. There's a lot of things that go into defining a type. So basically what we need to do is look at a pre-existing example, like Steel, and just modify that and make our own new type. So if you scroll down to the very bottom, actually no, before I scroll down to the very bottom, let me point out that I actually did add sound type to immunities for Steel. I've gone in and made it so that way like some Pokemon are immune to sound, some Pokemon are weak to sound, some are uh, some resist sound type. So let's scroll down to the very bottom and see how sound type has been defined. So in an earlier episode I added fairy type when I added gen 6 Pokemon. And you can see that here, 19 is fairy, then 20 is sound. So the very first thing you want to do is to find the name, which is just sound, and then the internal name, which is in all caps, sound. The next thing is if it's a special type. What that means is if you turn off the physical special split, which is a setting you can turn off if you choose to, um, then it determines whether or not it's special or physical. Uh, most games will have the physical special split, but you know, just in case, you can set this. So sound will be special if that's the case, so that's true. And let's just make sound weakness to weak to like dark and bug. And that's weaknesses equals dark bug. And you can add as many as you want here, you know, just a comma and then in all caps the type. Um, resistances. It resists psychic and dragon, you know. We can just, like, this is just all... I mean, this is probably not a balanced type at all, but this is just a showcase, you know. And then immune. It's immune to ghost, you know. So this is a type that has weaknesses, resistances, immunities. And then if you want to make it so it's super effective against something, what you should do is you go to that type. So I made it super effective against normal type. Um, and you add it to that, that type's weaknesses. So sound will be super effective against normal because in normal's weaknesses, there's sound. That makes perfect sense. So once you've done this, you've actually done a large majority of the work. Um, the hardest part is still coming up, but this is the majority of what needs to be done for adding a new type to your game, just defining it here in your types TXT. So this is all pretty simple. So the next thing you want to do is, well, I'll, what, what I want to do now actually is, let's make that Pokemon sound type. So what I've, got, what I've gone and done already is I've gone to Exploud, and I've made it so his type 1 is normal, and his type 2 is sound. So that's pretty simple. You can go to any Pokemon that you want in your Pokemon.txt file, and just, you know, change their typing to sound. Like right now, Loudrid is just normal, so if I go and enter type 2 equals underneath, and then make that sound, now Loudrid will also be sound type. Cool. So... That's already a lot done. Next, I want to make a move sound type. So let's make something like echoed voice or hyper voice sound type. And that's really easy to do. If you just go to any move, you can go over a little bit and you can see that, what is this, like the sixth field? One, two, three, four, five, six, yeah. The sixth field is the type of that move. And as you can see, I've made it so hyper voice is of type sound. Cool. So that's already a lot done. So the next thing, and probably the most important thing now for your types, is the image to visualize your type. 
So let's go into Photoshop here. Whoop. So in your game folder, let me open the game folder actually also, there is a pictures, so graphics, pictures. There's this pictures folder. And if you scroll down to the very bottom, there's a file called types.png. What, what I have open right here is a default types.png that hasn't been edited. So shadow is the last type. So it doesn't include fairy or um, sound. And if I want to include fairy or sound, it's actually super easy. All you need to do is add to the bottom of it. So if you're using Photoshop, this is easy. If you're using Paint, I guess this is also easy, but Paint will remove the transparency. So it's kind of, I, I highly recommend using a more advanced image editing software similar to like Photoshop or Paint.net, which is free. Um, so what you can do is image, canvas size. Actually, no, before I do that, let me show off. So each, I'm not showing off, but you know, like just showing you this. Um, each rectangle for a type is 64 by 28 pixels. So I just need to increase the bottom of the image by 28 pixels. And since I'm adding two types, I'm going to actually need to increase it by 56 pixels. So you can go to image, canvas size, there we go. And if I want to increase this by 56, that just becomes, let's see, 88, 588. And the anchor is at the top, so that way it only expands downwards. Boop. Cool. So now we can fit two more types here, if we choose. What I've done is I've actually already modified another types.png right here, where I've already done that. So this just requires some image editing on your part, if you choose to do this. But yeah, this is another 64 by 28 rectangle here that says fairy type. And then this is sound type, which is another 64 by 28 here. Just add it to the bottom. That's all you need to do. Just expand the bottom of that image. So another thing needs to be done. If you go into your pictures folder again, and you scroll up a little bit. Let's see if I can find it. Where is it? There it is. It's pokedextypes.png, which is the exact same thing except this is the image that shows up when you see your Pokemon in the Pokedex. So when you look at the type of your Pokemon in the Pokedex, this will show up. And the exact same logic applies. You just expand below. Like this doesn't look very good, but you know, this is just an example. Um, so yeah, you add these types to the bottom. Cool. So another thing that you're going to need to edit is if you're not using Elite Battle System, in that same pictures folder, there is a file called Battle Fight Buttons. Let's see if I can find it again. Here it is. So this is when you're selecting a move in battle. It represents that type. So, you know, it starts with normal and then there's fighting. You scroll down all the way. There's, I believe, that shadow at the bottom. So I haven't added fairy or sound to the bottom of this, but you will need to edit this file if you're not using Elite Battle System. If you are using Elite Battle System, you do need to edit an image, though. I'll show you that one now. It all depends on the type of UI that you have selected in your settings. But if you do have Elite Battle System installed, go to your Pictures folder and then go to your EBS folder. And then you'll find that there's another Move Cell Buttons, which you might want to edit depending on which settings you're using. And then there's also Next Gen, which I am using, which is the Next Gen UI option. And there's movecellbuttons.png here, which you will need to add to the bottom. And it follows the exact same logic as everything that came before it. All you need to do is expand beneath and add. So here is our modified image for sound type. So now I think we have everything already done. What we've done is we've edited our PBS to include sound type. We've made a Pokemon that is sound type. We've made a move that is sound type. And then we've added our sound type images. So let's test it out. What I've gone ahead and done is I've made a trainer that showcases all of sound types strengths and weaknesses. So he'll have Pokemon that are super effective against it, such as dark and bug type. He'll have a steel type Pokemon, which I can't affect and he'll have a normal type Pokemon, which I'll be super effective against. So let's all try that out now. So while it's loading, oh, never mind, it's done loading. I just want to say that the hardest part of adding a type is modifying those pictures. 
The easiest part is editing the PBS files and the text, because that's simple. Oh wait, before I show off this battle, there is one more thing I need to tell you about. In the scripts, if you are using Elite Battle System, in the Elite Battle underscore UI script, you are going to want to edit this line right here. It's on line 2801. Um, essentially what it is, is it's an array of all the possible types. And this, this will show the name of that type in the battle. So you, like fairies here, and then you just do comma and then sound. So you will want to add that if you are using Elite Battle System right here. That shows you the name of your type in battle. So well, like I said earlier, while it's loading, I just want to let you know, once again, I'm going to reiterate, reiterate, editing the text is easy, editing the images is hard. So I highly recommend Photoshop or Paint.net abilities, because other than that, it's like, it's really tough to do. Okay, cool. So here's our guy. His name is just Youngster Dude. So the first Pokemon is Ghost Type, which Sound Type is immune to. So... I'm just going to Growl this turn. I could have made Growl a sound type move also, but here you see I have Hyper Voice, Hyper Voice, which is using the proper UI in the images that we changed. And there in the bottom left corner, it says sound because we edited the script. So let's just Growl. That's a pretty nice animation for Growl. <laughs> All right. So it's going to use Lick and it doesn't affect me. Lick is a ghost type move and I'm of sound type. So cool. Now let's kill it. Right on. So, so far sound is working perfectly, but I just want to finish this battle just so I can prove that everything is working as it was set. So if you don't edit the images, you can still play through and test your game. It's just, you won't see stuff like this. It'll just be an empty square. So you can still test your types and the logic behind them. Okay, see sound is normal. I mean, is super effective against normal. So good, still working. But yeah, don't let, don't let a lack of um, image editing skills stop you from making new types because you can still let's see he's gonna use crunch on me which will be super effective so I'm gonna growl again um, you can still edit types and test them without editing the images if that makes sense it'll just be an, an empty space but still be feel free to experiment with your types so there dark was super effective against sound so once again that's working perfectly coolio Right on. So, and I guess after this battle, the only thing I'll want to show off is the summary of the Pokemon, as well as the Pokedex. So, let's see. I could actually probably show off the summary right now. There it is. He's of sound type right there. Normal sound, like we said earlier. Um, and then... There we go. Hyper Voice is a sound type move. Using our image from before that we set. Cool. So this is Bug. He's going to use a Bug-type move against me. And it'll be super effective again, just like we set in the PBS files. Cool. So yeah, hopefully this video helped you. I mean, editing types is actually a lot easier than you would think. It's really just a lot of figuring out what you want to be super effective against what, what resists what. So the hardest part... Well, I'll, I'll say it this way. The hardest part is editing the images when it comes to actually physically implementing them. But in reality, the hardest part is just thinking of a balanced type. It's really hard to think of a new type that fits into the current types. Cool. Sound does not affect steel, which we set. Awesome. So that is the last Pokemon in the example. It looks like everything is working perfectly for our new type. So yeah, if you want to make a new type, like light or sound, think about Think about what they're going to be good against, what's good, to what's going to be good against them, you know, what they're going to resist. And, you know, like, what color you want it to be when looking at the types of those moves. So yeah, that's easy. Let's look at our Pokedex now. And let's see, Explode, there he is. And there, in our Pokedex, there's the image that we set earlier, also, the normal sound type. Right on. So that's how you add a new type. It's actually not that hard. Like I said before, the hardest part is editing those damn images and making them look nice and um, getting everything in your game. But other than that, you know, like editing the PBS files and the text is super simple. You know, updating your Pokemon to be of that new type is also really easy. 
And uh, yeah, I hope that helped. You know, feel f um, be sure to subscribe. Uh, you know, follow me on Twitch and Twitter. That would help. Join the Thundaga Discord. That's the best place to reach out for help. I, I get questions on Twitter that are like for really complex issues, and I only have like 140 characters to reply with help, which is tough. So yeah, definitely join the Discord. That's the best place to receive help. And yeah, once again, thank you everyone for a thousand subscribers. I'm doing one tutorial video a day this week. And uh, next video will be on, let's see, I might do abilities or I might do changing the player outfit. Um, I'm thinking, I'm leaning towards outfits and then abilities the next day. Because abilities is going to be a complex one, so I need to like collect myself. But yeah, until next time guys, I'll see ya. Have a good day. And uh, good luck in your Pokemon creating adventures.